Good morning, Hornets coaches. Uh, we've got our first match of you, for you today. Um, the Hornets versus Bioware for Life. The vampires we have played before. Um, match is about to start, so Hornets looking the same as they did last week. Little beat up, trying to get replaced thrower and a, uh, another lineman. Um, we are up against some vamps here. Um, no, oops. I missed his challenge. I'll have to start that again. But real quick, similar to last team, I think he's down to a rookie vamp. Something must have happened. But yeah, pretty brutal team. Strong. Got some stand firm. Tons of thrall, so it's going to be hard to injure through them. Um, we are going to get some inducements. It's very tempting to drop a player to get the wizard. Very tempting. But you know what? We're going to keep it because we only have uh, 11 to begin with. So, we'll start up this match. Probably going to go with either two Bloodwise or Babes or an extra Apothecary. I think for keeping the state of the team, okay, we're going to go with an extra Apothecary. There we go. We've got this. Yeah. Love to get a wizard. Bribe's tempting, because I wouldn't mind fouling some of those thralls out. But I don't even know if I'm going to get a chance to. And he's got 15 thralls anyway, so I feel like it's a lost cause. Extra apo. I'd like to have the two Bloodweiser babes to keep more players in the game. But... This extra apo, I think, should help keep the important pieces in the game. So we're going to go with that. Hey, Truk. How you doing? Hey, thanks for the follow, man. We've got some... Uh, we've got a rematch today. Played against Bioware for Life last season. Came out to a draw right at the end. We nearly had him beat. He's a he's a tough coach. Thanks. Yeah, usually I think, oh, I'm playing vampires. This won't be too bad. But he's got a monster vampire team, and he knows how to play them. All right, we see our beautiful boys in polka dots. And I, I guess they're adequate color scheme for their vampires. Not good by elven standards, but... Uh, like old goth people, I guess it works. Yeah, they, they are no joke. They're, uh, they were tough last season. I think it, I got lucky with some rolls that had me almost win, and then he made a nice play at the end that just got him in and scored and tied it up. Hey, Charles. Good to see you in the stream chat. So what do we get here? Um, we both rolled sevens, but we have one more fan factor. Pretty average weather. We got the extra apo. Let's turn skills on here. Um, yeah, we don't have a bench for this match because that last lineman died. He's got plenty of a bench. Um, so he won the kickoff, and he's making us go first. Ugh, that's... Not exactly what I wanted, but maybe we can hit something here. Uh, let's see. We've got the guard for this. I may throw Bellicos up there. We'll see. Well, no, because I want to hit him. I need to hit him with the tackle piece, I feel like. He's got stand firm anyway. So let's, yeah, let's see how we want to do this. 
We're going to come at him with a mighty blow piece, just because I'd love to remove a vampire. Might hit that follow-up. Um, I think we'll actually throw this guy on the line here. Who do we want to come at? Probably come at this guy with the blitz. So we'll have him there. Um, we want to. We don't want to score too quick with this. We got to be careful. Uh, so we're gonna keep him back to receive along with Eliphaz. We'll keep Eliphaz up front because what we really want to do is we want to get Abraham to pick it up and toss to Eliphaz. Keep him one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's it's a reasonable spot right about here. Um. So, where do we want to put these two? Yeah, we're not really looking to send our guys out where they're going to get hit. Let's keep them in... I guess something like this. Kind of like that. So here, you can have this guy hit him back. Actually. Yeah. It's not the best, but it tries to get us the mighty blow hit there. Hey, Chinchiro. Yeah, more fans for the Pro Elves. Oh yeah, he has kick. I should have remembered that. Ooh, we avoid to get the ref. That's an interesting kick. That's a very interesting kick. Hmm. So we still want to hit here. I don't know if we're going to do our blitz over here now, though. We'll see how that turns out. Um, I think we want to we want to overall grab the ball and bring it back. <laughs> it's just in case we're going to three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're gonna put this guy here. So the plan might be too risky to, to pass this out of here. So you might do some sort of cage stepping up back here. So he could get, he could step there, hand back. Okay, I do kind of like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, just in case, we're going to move this guy up here. His plan is we're going to pick up with him, we're going to step back, we're going to hand it off. To this guy who's going to be here. <laughs> so just pushes so at that rate. I'll push him there and we're going to stay. My hope is this will be a knockdown. There we go. Push him here. Uh, yeah. Follow that. What's this look like? 
no tackle, but I can push him here. I could follow up. It's really aggressive, but we're going to try it. So if we stand still, if he stands still, we'll hit him with Hawk next. Uh, no, he doesn't, so I will follow that up because it's, it's just an unskilled line now. Ugh, that is not what I wanted to see. Question is, do we follow this up? What could we get? Three, four, eh. Yeah, I think I'll just let him go free at this point. Not really give him any sort of hit there. Um, so if we have this guy here when he hands it off. I don't know. That keeps us... Somewhat safe from the hip hypno gaze. Question is, where do we want to spend our blitz? Two, three, four, five. Eh. Let's let's do this first. Just in case. We're gonna get the ball to him just to Alright. Lots of sixes. That's not exactly where I want to use them, but that's alright with me. So if we actually step here, we could send him in, try to get another hit there for what it matters. I mean I gotta roll pow. That's the problem with pow fishing. But I'm pal fishing on a lot of this stuff anyway. <laughs> hmm. Well, I've got to do something here. Shove him back around. Step back. Keep him there for the guard. Yeah, I don't know. That felt weird. Yeah, this this is trouble. Didn't really get any good hits there. I know I was kind of pal fishing, but I did come after him with the tackler. I was hoping to do something there. Um, I was trying to be mindful. I know this isn't much of a cage, but I was trying to be mindful of his hypno gaze. Like if he if he wants to hypno gaze anything to get in here, he's gonna have a minus because of tackle zones. Uh, but he's gonna. I have some good pieces exposed, so he's gonna get a nice hit somewhere. We'll see how he lines this up, how aggressive he gets. Yeah, that was a nice kick. So he gets the three dice, he's got the tackle. Okay, but we're okay. Came close to, to armor breaking. the hip now. Ooh, nice. Well, we see we see one of the rerolls go away, and yeah, that's an interesting one die. But that's all right with me. Um, do I see a way I went through? I kind of like this direction that we're already over here. There's only these two thralls. 
got this roadblock in the way. But if we took him out... So what is he? He's a strength five. Ugh, with dodge, stand firm, and all that. What can we hit here? We've got guard, but he's got guard as well, so we can't <laughs> get the one die we want there. With him being strength five and having all that stuff on him, I don't know if we can get through that guy. But that's where we want to go. Mm, who do we send? One, two... Three, four, five, six. Mm. We need three assists. I don't even think we can get that right now. It's him in the way. That piece is just immovable. That's that's bait, it feels like. Maybe we go this way. So we can get some hits here, potentially. Yeah. I think that is where we will go. <laughs> we can give him an assist. We can get some sort of hit there. Where's the... Ooh, I like the blitz on Jahira, actually. We're gonna... We bring him there. We can get the blitz on Jahira. With him. And where's our, where's our cage gonna be? Two, three, four, five, six, somewhere around there. kind of our back support. Do we block anybody by putting him there? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, we should be able to get our hit there. Get our hits in there. Okay, let's give this a shot. Just push. Let's throw him up there. We're not going to follow that. Uh, how do we want to defend against this? Even if he gets the Hypno back here, it's not really going to matter. This feels protected enough. Yeah, no sense in making the dodge here. We'll just stand up. So we can get the hits here. I think we'll leave Castian right here. But we don't want to allow him around the sides. So we'll potentially just put him right there. Yeah, right there feels a little better. Okay, let's see how this turns out. <laughs> There's a pow. And an armor break. And an injury. Cool. Now he's got plenty of thralls to replace that, but we at least get one off the field for this drive. Nice. We also get a pow there. He doesn't stand firm. I'm throwing him over this way. Alright, there we go. Okay, 
That's fair. I feel slightly recovered from this mess that was over here, the mess that was turn one, but it's still pretty even feeling right now. And we hypnos the guard. So if he gets more guard in there, he can hit? I don't know. Maybe he just did the hypno gaze just because he was going to go there anyway. Why not hypno gaze? Oh. Forces me to activate him. Okay, cool. He's not wrapping around this way too much, which is what I was kind of worried about. Bringing them around this way, which is okay. It's only, it's only gonna be turn three. We we still got time. Uh. And him taking, uh, ooh, feels bloodlust. So where's he gonna go now? I guess he can still bite the downed guy. Him. Nice. So that's that's another thrall off. It really is just for this drive, for the most part. Usually I would target the thralls to try to. Ooh, that's why he got rid of the guard. Does he have tackle? He does. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Let's go here. Gets a hit on the Blitzer. Once again, a little short of armor. Interesting. Okay, cool. Now, what do I want to hit? There's some strength five in there. Might be coming around this way. Who knows? Oh. Might do the blitz on his kicker. God, this guy is just such an such an anchor. The warden, strength five, block dodge and stand firm. Oh. Hmm. Well, he comes that way. Do we like this more? This vampire is easier to take down, but we really smush ourselves in this corner if we do. come around this way we force him to do a lot of moving back you know I kind of like this because the more moving we force him to do the more blood loss he might roll so the question is how do we want to hit this guy where's our cage gonna be so we don't need tackle on any of that I might just send Velikos around to do the hit and I can see where we can form the cage um, and it feels dumb doing that. It's the first move. So one, two, three, six. We may be passing the ball off to somebody. Or caging it down here. I don't know. If we get the ball to someone, who would we give it to? Maybe a Abraham for a vanity pass? Maybe. <laughs> he could get up there. Mm. 
Nah, let's, let's play it safe. We're gonna cage up here. I think that's a good spot for him. Alright, you know what, let's let's do this so we can get the moving out of the way. He's a nice piece, so I'm going to be bringing him back. I just, I worry too much hmm. about that guy. Uh, I'm going to put this guy up here to be kind of the forward piece to stop him from screening too closely. Um, let's bring hmm. some help in this way. Or we put him here. That should mostly stop him from easily getting through, I think. But we're gonna... Where's his tackle piece? I don't see one. So we might do something like this. Yeah, that puts this guy out there, but it, g it gets us up the field a little bit. It gets us something. Let's get away from this guy. Alright, and just in case he finds a way through, we've got Pytho Ventress back there to be a bit of a safety. Ooh, you know what? We did kind of leave Hawk open, didn't we? Maybe should have left Pytho pytho over here or something oh well if he spins his blitz over here that should get us up the field a little bit mm. so see i like putting the tackles oh it still worked out hmm Yeah, that's fair. I was hoping the minus two there, making it a five plus, would uh would stop the hypno gaze, but it did not. So yeah, he's got a cage dive there. Failed hypno gaze. Is he going to reroll that? Because if it works out, he can get to my ball no problem. Huh. Did not reroll. So what's he going to do? Is he going to dedicate? I don't know. He doesn't have room. <laughs> I mean, he's got dodge. I don't have any tackle. Still like a 75% chance he gets in there. Mm. And he still gets two die block on an unskilled dude. I don't hate my recovery options, though.
probably going to be a, a slow-paced match with this because we tied each other last time. We're both playing a big battle of wits with this. I got to remember all the things he can do with hypnogaze and vampires and stuff. Man, he's locking down a lot of my players. Let's see him injure another one of his own thralls. Just stunned. He's safe. still probably just dodge away from this guy if we need to. Depending on how this goes, we may just reverse again. <laughs> oh. Especially if he moves out of there. Oh. Okay, it comes after this guy. He's pow fishing. He gets the pow. Uh, hold on, Mathalar. Uh oh. Just a stun. Just a stun. Okay, I don't hate that. Yeah. If he puts the roadblock here, there's, well, here's the thing. We could go up here. We could hit this guy. We could potentially cage up around here. It's possible. Or we could reverse. I kind of like the looks of reversing, because who could we get up here? Get that there. We could get two, three... But we, we fail kind of on the back of our cage if we do that. Yeah. With this guy in the way, if we could blitz him out of the way for sure, I might go for him. But I think we're going to do another reverse. <laughs> So where can we end up with the ball? One, two, three, four, five, six. We can get right about there. We go blitz this guy. Ugh, he didn't have to stand for it. <laughs> Stupid guard. Okay. I still think try to cage up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Might go there, just to be safe. Can't really bring any vamps around that way easily. So I don't mind putting him there. This guy here for the assist, kind of like that. Let's 
put him down there. Getting KO'd. Now, where do we want to go with this? So yes, we can get some hits there, but... I do kind of want to protect him. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we can bring him in there. So, alright, as much as I don't like leaving him out in the open. We're gonna leave him a bit out in the open. <laughs> Just in case he tries to hypno or anything. Take the one, you know what, let's, let's just activate him, get him over with. We're gonna dodge this guy around. And we're gonna take the one die. This, oh, two die, hey, cool. Uh, push him. Yeah, we're just gonna push him, but I'm fine to just get him over there. Stop him from take, getting this guard on here and taking another hit on one of my guys. Hey, x -Cam. How's it going? I would say x -Cam. Is it XC cam I don't know. I always think of like XCOM, the game. So that's how I pronounce it. Oh. Oh. So we've been stalling down the clock pretty okay mm. so far. Not to jinx myself. Yeah, X XCOM just like rolls off. It's XCCOM? Okay. I can attempt that. I think it's just the, the similarity, but oh crap. So he hit. Alright, come on, armor. Uh, where do we want to go with this? Kind of like going here. Uh-oh, armor break. Ooh, KO'd. Alright, we lost Hawk for this drive. Uh, beating him up. Uh, most of that is himself. I think I got this KO. I'm pretty sure he got the other stuff himself through uh, feeding on his own teammates. Yeah, we hit up, had a pretty weird turn one because his kick la landed here. And so we had to like do this weird cage there. And we've just kind of been like hopping back and forth every turn to try to get him to activate and move his vampires and just have his bloodlust kill his own people. And so far, we've got two. Because I don't necessarily want to score right away. I want to try to give him as little time as possible to... To score. His hypno gazes have been doing pretty well, though. And the fact that he just took out Hawk, that, that sucks. Uh, cool. He doesn't take out Unreal Pike. He has to bite Mor Morinth. Right? Didn't he fail his bloodlust? 
Oh, he re-rolled it. Interesting. <laughs> He's just been running around hypnogazing people like crazy. I mean, that's what vamps do, but... So yeah, we are... We are just KO'd Hawk. So... We're up two players, but he took out a really good one. I've only... He's only down thralls. Um, the Warden is... This big roadblock right here. I don't think I'm gonna... I guess I have the guard. I could try to take out him, but I, I'm pal fishing again. So the question is kind of like, where do I want to go with this? Be pal fishing here, too. Yeah, where do we want to hit? I'd like to hit this guy. What's going to be the plan here? Can't really hit Jahira. So maybe we'll go after the Inquisitor or we'll send Tackle. If we send Tackle after Revive Commander Shepard, I don't hate that. We've got some Tackle Wrestle right here that I might do that with. But he's also Strength 5. Ugh. You know what? I don't hate seeing how some of this goes. Okay, so he's probably going to stand firm. He's probably going to hang out there. That's fair. I mean, I was, I was pal fishing, so... Might just dodge away here. Just keep moving this way. Oh, sidestep. No, I think we'll I think we'll go this way. So what we've got with this guy, so we need three, four, five, six. We need a couple assists here. bring him back to be our bottom line, or do we send him up and around? Kind of like this, it blocks off this thrall. Now, we need one more assist here, don't we? We'll dodge these guys last. snake here that's scary all right we didn't okay but we block his sidestep into here at least um we have tackle So these guys are going to be rear guard. Let's put this guy... Kind of... 
lock things up here. made it there. <laughs> He's gonna go there. I don't know where this guy's gonna go. Um, let's see if he makes it. If he does, do we go here or do we just keep blocking this off? I think we just keep blocking this direction off. I don't know. That was positioning down here was very just instinctual. I didn't really have time to think about it. Mm. So we'll see if he can easily slip through that or not. I think I kind of locked down some thralls here. So let's hope he fails bloodlust. Mm. He's got two thralls to work with. Mm. We still have a reef roll for all the last three of our turns. Yeah, I guess that looked fine when he was a hypnogaze. Oh. Yeah, that was a that was an important hypno for him. I was thinking about putting this guy here or here. Kinda wish I did. Oh goody. He failed the hypnogaze, so he's still gotta make some rolls. He's going for it. And he's just got to make some two pluses, so. But he's out of rerolls. Can he make like four two pluses? No, he can't. Nice, nice. Well, all right, so we go cage up there a little more. Uh, I think just in case we stay away from the edge of the. Um, let me see that we like up here. Might blitz that guy, I don't know. Blitz him with one attack with peace hit him. Man, that's a tempting foul. That's a really tempting foul. If I, if I was up one already, I might do it. Where's this blitz gonna be? Hmm. 
Let's see, I want to hit this guy. But I would be pow fishing. Can at least mark him up quite a bit, I think. taking some one dies I think I don't really like that so do we mark him up or do we oh, where do we take this blitz okay I have ideas Let's see how this goes. Maybe we get a pow, maybe we don't. We do. I like that. I don't know why I went there. I could have just given myself a two-die block and messed it up. <laughs> now, that might have been a stupid play. Uh, Take some one dies, but that's okay. Cool, we got another thrall out. I might not take this one die now. Just keep this thrall marked. Yeah, I think since I used up my reroll, I'm gonna forgo the thrall hit as nice as it would be. So let's see, if we can stall one more turn, that would be cool. But it's not the end of the world to give him two turns. Oh. Miss for the assist. He's going to get the two die. Nice. Failed to hit me, guys. him so he runs up for the assist oh. now he can go with some sort of hypno gaze and then try the three plus two plus i don't know we'll see what he does he's working up one of those vampire plans So he's going to hypnogaze this corner, and then I guess he's going to go for the ball with this guy. We do have tackle on him, so we'll see how that goes. Though he does have a normal reroll. And it's only a one die, right? So he makes it. He gets a push. Does he reroll it? He does, and he gets a skull. Oh, man, rough luck, dude. So we we could hit the warden here. So three, three six. Um, remember we can't. 
can't be stupid. Actually, if we just get the ball down this way. I think we'll blitz this guy and go for that as much as I wanted to, to do that. Put him there just in case he does get through so the ball's not going to go out of bounds. it's just better to dodge away. Alright, if we commit those guys, we don't have much of a screen. Yeah, okay. Well, that didn't work out. That's fine. I was hoping that'd be a knockdown. I could follow up and get some stuff there, but I suppose mm -hmm. not. See, he can't get around. If he blocks something up here... If he hypnogazes here, he could... do something there, couldn't he? You know what? Just in case he does something weird up there, let's put this in the way. And then, yeah, we'll try to get away with this guy. See how that goes. safe no safe since taking an extra dodge just to go there okay um hopefully yellow fasting can, can grab a touchdown next turn then oh that's why he hypno gazes hypno gazes comes in this way and hits him. I still like my recovery options, but... Oh, and with that Hypnogaze failing, that really messes up his plan.
so we've had a pretty slow drive, but that's okay. We stalled, turns out, so we're not going to give him too much time. He's hurt some of his own thralls. If he, if he gets KO wake-ups, like, he's going to get two shots. One, one shot for his turn eight, one shot for the next half. Um, and we are going to be kicking to him, so... Even if they all stay out through all of this, he's still got four replacements for everything. So he's not really down any players. We are down potentially Hawk. He's also got two chances to wake up. I don't care if his two thralls wake up. I want Hawk to wake up. So what's he got left? One more Hypno Gaze. And then a Blitz on the ball. Yeah, he could do it. Force me to roll some dice. I could, I could sneak eye on the recovery. That works out. Now he just walks right in and hits him. I should have put uh, Hawk right there. Or not Hawk. Aeo Dark Shard. I was thinking about putting him there to block that off, but then I got worried he'd come from up there. He gets it. If I lose the touchdown because of this, I'm just greedy for stalling turns. So he's going to go stand by that. We're going to have to pick up under a, uh, under a threat, probably. Uh, yeah. I think he forgot about diving tackle. Okay, we don't have to pick up under threat anymore. I think I want to give the score to Pytho. Though getting Elevast some, some SPP would probably be good. Yeah, my catchers get SPP all the time. So I think we're going to give... Um, so what? He doesn't have any sort of scoring threats... I guess we just try to pick this up and go in. <laughs> Although, you know... No, we can't quite get that, uh... Can we? Oh, that's tempting to go for the crowd surf. It's possible. <laughs> oh, I could I could get punished so bad for greeting this. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Uh. Well, I guess it's good we didn't pick up the ball because it's double ones there. Um, nah, we... Uh, let's make sure he can't do anything weird. So forget about the crowd surf. As much as I wanted it, we use the re-roll. Don't really want to risk that anymore. Um... Whew. Oh, he got it. Holy crap.
Whew. Thanks, Charles. Yeah, that, that drive, that went pretty well. Uh, I was typing. Okay, cool. Hawk woke up. Oh, man, and both of his guys stayed out. Uh, yeah, the the, di the dice have been pretty pretty kind to me so far. Um, so who's going to get eaten up on the line? We want our kicker back. You're going to get stuck up there. Castian, he's line fodder until he dies or gets fired eventually. We might, I don't want to throw the new catcher up there. I mean, we just got him. Go. These guys are too important. This guy needs to kick. Too important. Maybe we'll throw Aleth up there. I don't want to lose a blitzer either. Um, let's spread him out a bit, I guess. You know what? Yeah, sorry, Eliphaz, but you're you're still line fodder, buddy. Hmm. What if we what if we played the asymmetric setup? He's kind of slow. He's still at eleven players, though. Asymmetric. We kick to the back. We run up. You know what? Yeah, let's uh, let's play the asymmetric setup. No, I lied. I don't know what I want to do. I guess he's got all that guard, so we can just bash all those guys. Okay, I lied. We're we're not. <laughs> yeah, he's not fast. We don't need to block the sides. Let's. Let's play it safe. Safe as we can. We have some people fairly safe. We're split up on the line, so he's got to potentially put more people. All right, we'll give that a shot. I don't know. Couldn't decide if I wanted to do an asymmetric setup and try to, you know, kick off to the side and really go for it to try to grab and score again. But we are up 1-0, so maybe we just play nice and defensively. Try to preserve players. Plus this way we've got fewer key players exposed to tackle blitzes. We'll see how aggressive he is. These guys are only slightly protected because they could get uh, hypnogazed and then come in and hit somebody. So I'll, they would have been more safe if I put them, say, two spaces farther back. But I also don't want to. This is also turn eight. This isn't halftime. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I did nothing to set up against the one turn. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll just, yeah, he's on, on that side. Let's, let's kick back here. Let's see how good his one turn game is. Ok, 
because I didn't really set up to stop it all that well. I don't know if he's going for a one turn anymore or not. So he might just go for the foul. Yeah, that's probably what he's doing. So we got one armor break, ended up in a stun. I feel like he's going to foul Uldril. That's what I would do if I were him. Yep, here it comes. Just a stun, just a stun. <laughs> wow, he failed the foul. It's gotta be somewhat infuriating. Here is close to level. Makes this uh, if he makes this little pass, be one step closer. Oh, fumbles the van. That's, that's sad. All right, now we're at halftime. See if his other guys wake up at all. One of them does. Uh, similar scenario as last time. Um, do we do we want this set up though? No, I think we're gonna come back. Just just one. Looks like he's, I don't know, he's gonna, maybe he'll stack heavy on one side. That's fine. Yeah, he's splitting things up. Yeah, at this point, he's got the high strength stand firm on the sides. He's protected pretty well from the blitz, so I'm not going to do any sort of close kick. I'm going to kick it in the back. Um, I think to this side. Yeah. 
Both teams get an extra reroll. That's going to help him a little more than it's going to help me. That's all right. He's got six rerolls. So he's got plenty. Oh. He fails, <laughs> fails the bloodlust. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Those are. Well, it's a good thing you didn't use the reroll on the, the bloodlust, I guess. Will he take the wrestle or will he push him back? He pushes him back. So, yep, he's going for another blitz on all drill. Which is fair. That's one of the more key pieces. Only gets pushes. Fine by me. All drill stays on his feet. Another failed bloodlust. These vamps are pa falling apart. Getting hungry. See, the, uh, the key to beating vamps is uh, for halftime, you replace their blood baths with cro red croxiade. They can't tell the difference, and they end up coming back to the pitch starving for the second half. Not that my elves would ever cheat or do anything like that, you know. Fails sure hands as well. So, I say we play kind of aggressive here. Uh, we've got a shot up the middle that I see to be the best. We're not going to bother with him. He's got stand frame. I think that guy right there is a good shot. So let's... <laughs> Do we have anybody who can really reach the ball? <laughs> eh, maybe. We can get near it with some go for it. So let's put this guy here. So we can get a two die here, pushing back there. Which kind of mostly gets us what we want. I'd like to hit him with Hawk, but Eliphaz is kind of in the way. And I'm not going to hit him with Eliphaz, so... You know, we could hit him with him, couldn't we? I like that a little bit more. I think that's what we'll do. Do we care about these guys at all? think <laughs> might keep two people back to watch them <laughs> we're gonna keep this guy here for now to try to stop them from going forward all right old drill <laughs> see what you're made of We'll follow that up. Gets a stun. Nice job, old drill. Uh, where do we send him? That kind of blocks us from going that way. Who are we going to send up? Probably some of these folks. Remember, we don't want to leave this side too open. Or this side. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna put Eliphaz down here, actually. Now, how many go for it's do we want to do? None with him.
have some ideas. Yeah, put him there. We'll send those guys there. Let's move these guys first. <laughs> We're actually just going to put... Put <laughs> Yeah, that's what we're going to do. As much as I hate to do it, we're going to bring... No, we can put them there. Yes, it gives them a free hit, but it makes dodging away a little tougher with diving tackle. We have to fewer dice we can roll. We can send him over there. No, he's unskilled. Let's go base this guy up. point in making that go for it if we can just put diving tackle on him now this guy give it a shot bud nope we'll see where it bounces good that's fine with me I'm okay with that. Can't succeed at everything. So he's probably gonna get some hypno gazes and really swarm this. Or he's just gonna live with that and try to do some sort of pass. I don't know. We did really push up over here, so if he gets the ball down here, like he's gotta score pretty well. Or pretty easily. Yes, we have Hawk here, but he's got three vampires. Mm. So maybe it would have been better to instead try to pick up the ball, just go here. Or maybe even use that reroll. Because the consequences of him getting the ball and passing it down here are, are pretty hefty if he succeeds. It's going to be hard to bring everything over there. Fails the hypno gaze, would have failed it even without the minus on his tackle zone. Hey. Yeah, he gets the dodge, diving tackle didn't really do a whole lot for that. That's how you do it. He's going to try to get rid of the... Ooh. I guess he just steps here and does the same thing. Yeah, he's going to get rid of the um, intercept chance. Go pass to this guy. He's got rerolls for it, yeah. I, I, th I think he could uh, definitely do something here. I don't even think he's done his blitz yet. So he might he might go after Hawk with, like, catch the ball, blitz him. Though that's dangerous, because if he doesn't take him down, you've got sidestep and diving tackle and all that. Yeah, I think I got a little too aggressive. He can do something here, big time. think unless yeah the second go for it is almost never 
worth it statistically. But hey, look at that. Works out. So he's going to do his blitz here. Yep. Oh, he fails the bloodlust. He doesn't have anywhere to go now. That's the one time he did not want to do it. That's going to keep him down this way, at least. Oh, he gets the pow. Um... I guess we'll use food. Uh, go here. Does he? No. We do want to go here. Because he's going to have to feed. <clears throat> yeah, he's got movement to go back. That's, that's smart. And he can feed on him and stay somewhat protected. And our big guard help is up there. So, I don't know if we... He had, he had that really, uh, he did a good job saving himself from that. Um, I don't know... How we want to hit this. If we actually want to go after him... He's going to leave himself that wide open. Alright, do we have a tackle piece to put on that? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to come at him with that. Do we have enough assists? I don't know if we do. I think we gotta hit this guy. I am gonna go... Hmm. I don't think we're gonna get enough assist without him. This guy needs to get out of the way to try to mess up tackle zones. Um, we just kind of pass him off to there. could just make this worse. No, we made it better. So now, should be one go for it. Dodge. Three, four, five, plus one. Fails to go for it. Right. Um, we'll Reroll that. Come on, buddy. Okay, he makes that. <laughs> right, makes the dodge. Let's see how this goes. Nice. 
probably going to go there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we hit for that. So, yes, look, we'll fall. Huh. Alright. I, I don't hate it. Okay, he falls. That's alright. We can live with it. My hope, like, what I was going to do, I was going to do that first because it was just one die to protect him, and then I was going to chance the two go for to mark this guy. I really wanted to mark this guy, but I needed the extra assist. I guess I never actually had to move him to begin with. Because this guy is guard. That's okay. He will probably take Kalmornan down. Although his tackle is stunned, so... He might be able to get three, di uh, three dice on him. But he is pal fishing. No gaze doesn't work out because of the minus one modifier. I think that's a big thing, trying to set your guys up so the hypno gaze has minuses. Then I never really thought about the last time that I played him. That'd be nuts if you could, uh, I guess it'd, it'd be so overpowered if, uh, you could hypnogaze the ball and they would, like, drop the ball. Oh, he fails to go for it. Makes the go for it. Gets the pow he needs. We're gonna go this way. Hopefully the ball doesn't end out over here, because then he can s step up, grab it, potentially pass up to his dude up there. Come on, keep it bouncing this way. Keep it bouncing this way. Don't give it to him. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. He's out of rerolls, but he could absolutely pass to Dorian and score. But that does give me plenty of time to try to score back. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I think he's just gonna... Oh yeah, that guy got bust. Another KO. Getting rid of these thralls. See, I told you, you replace their bloodbath with red croxiaid at halftime. And they just get too thirsty. Drink all their players dry, and the, the thralls that stay on the field, they stay all woozy. That's why he failed the pickup earlier. So, he's got guard on either side. But, honestly, might come after him with just the wrestle strip ball and deal with it looks like he's trying to future proof something here um, so if we put our guard where's our, okay, our guard's stuck over there but we have this <laughs> so what do we do here we could put our guard plus one minus one yeah we're not going to get another plus one without this guard, which could get there if we get rid of this guy. Mm. Think about it. Mark him. Okay. <coughs> Alright, that'll give me three, four, five. Okay. And then he one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll move him up. Alright. Kind of like this. Hmm. Alright, this guy definitely hmm. is going to go... 
try to block him. But I need these guys potentially for recovery. We'll see how it goes. Nice, we get a takedown. Go Blitzer. Okay. So now, we go here. Got so much guard shenanigans. Go block. Do we bother blocking this guy? Now this guy comes in from here and we get the one die, right? Okay. The question is... You know what? I think... Do it with the strength four. Yeah. We get the one die. Alright. Go on, buddy. Let's do this. Fine. Let's see how this turns out. <laughs> Should have stepped there. Um, so I, I guess. So let's see. We go here. We put another thing on the ball, but then he just like. Blitzes or something pushes me onto the ball. It scatters. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Those are my people, right? Yeah. Alright, this should be interesting. I feel like he's almost certainly gonna go for some sort of push onto the ball to try to dislodge it, see where it goes. But there's there's three elves, three, potentially four vamps to catch it. And a lot of tackle mm. zones in here. Oh. Now, would it have been better to keep Hawk back here? Definitely would have been safer. This is the more aggressive play, and I don't know how much that gains us when this ball scatters. Depending on the scatter, it could gain us a lot. Depending on the scatter, it couldn't. It might not give us very much. He might not even chance to scatter. He'll just hypnogaze his way out of here. Which is dangerous, because imagine if he failed bloodlust right there. I guess he's got the reroll. He's got all his thralls up here. Salts are at least marked. Mm. What's he going to do? Just standing him up, hypnogazing. Well, hypnogaze doesn't work. That's good. That's helpful. Because I assumed he was going to try to hypnogaze when it, you know, hypnogaze here, hypnogaze here, deal with the minus on the pickup, grab it, and run back that way. He's got dodge. He'll probably make it out of here. It's fine. Oh, fails the dodge skill. That that is rough for him. This has been a rough game for his dice rolls. Absolutely. So, how do we? So we stand him up. We can get the two die. Now he's up on strength. Ugh. <laughs> Sidestep and all that. Yeah, I don't know how we get the ball out of there. We're 
gonna get our strength four in there. We're gonna mark this guy just in case. We can get a hit over there. Okay, just a stun. That's all right. That. What can we do here? <laughs> we go for it. We can make this two dice, but we're still just pow fishing. <laughs> oh, I kind of like that better. Yes, sidestep. You stand firm. I guess we give it to the sidestep dude. See where he goes. Now we have guards, so I think we follow that one up. Because now... That's two dice. That's fine. He's got... He's got skills. So if we go here, so we're currently three, four, five. We could get two dice. We do have to make a go for it. Actually, you know what? This guy, we didn't have to do that. This guy gets two dice. That was kind of dumb. Yeah, does he stand firm here or not? Uh, I think I'm going to stay, actually. <laughs> Take it. We'll save the rerolls. I don't like it, but we're gonna try for it. Ugh, health bullshit. I I did not expect that to work without doing a reroll. <laughs> Whew. Go Hawk. Well done. Doesn't he have a guy named Hawk? Yeah, his guy, his Hawk is over there. Yeah, he could absolutely go for it. Get him. Uh, dodge skill saves him there. He gets the hit. Tackle's gonna help take him down. I will use Fend, and I'll go up that way. Nice. Fend doing some work. Nice ball scatter, too. Going over that way instead of this way.
Where's the fail in the dodge? Oh, that's all down here. Yep, so dodge skill pays off this time, gets away from Eliphaz. Fails the next dodge. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, I think we score as soon as we can, really. Question is, who do we who do we really want to score on? Abraham, probably. What do we got down here? <laughs> Go, mark this guy. No, no, I don't I don't trust. Because if I get greedy up here, I don't want him having a better chance at scoring. Um, though we could level Abraham with a vanity pass. Question is, who do we pass to? Maybe come morning. Um, so let's see, three, four, five, six. Ugh. That'll get us two dice. There we go. We take him down. Where's he gonna go? Probably up there. I'll follow that to keep tackle on him. We still have a blitz. Let's just do it down there. Just to move. Here's the plan. He's gonna go mark him. I'm gonna go for the SPP. Okay, and then this guy is going to come. We better put the diving tackle. Yeah, it's going to be easiest to put there. Go put the diving tackle on that. And we'll take a one die here. See how that goes out. Turns out. Uh, skull. If we were in a worse off position, I would probably have not greeted that, but... Oh, wait, he... Oh, he re-rolled Bloodlust. Okay. Hypnogazes to remove the diving tackle. Yeah, no, that's, that's a good play. Fails the Bloodlust. 
still go for it. I mean, might as well try to take the ball down. Oh. Two dice just don't do that. And he's gonna blood lust off the field, isn't he? Yep. See ya. I'm telling you. That plan with the Croxy aid, it got the bloodlust working. In my favor. So, yeah, I think that's who we'll score on. If we can. I think we'll do the Blitz over here. He's there. be a go for it on the blitz. Maybe we won't go with him. I see three, so we need two assists. Four. Five. I'd rather chance give the chance for casualty on him, so we're gonna block with him. Okay, KO, not casualty, that's okay. I can still be very happy with how that turned out. He might hang out there just to keep him marked. Um, don't really care about the crowd surf that doesn't get us SPP, so we're gonna try here. Yeah, so close to the end of the game, might as well. If we get the Kaz, nope, that's okay. He's just so close to leveling. Cool, let's see what he does. I think we're out of range for most of his stuff. Yeah, he can still get next to our guy though. Okay, we still have two turns, so I'll probably make the block with Cal Morning. And just in case it doesn't work out, I'll have a blitz to come in with Hytho, most likely.
as much as I, you know, he can still throw to that guy. I should have went there and there. I was going to box him in, but. I don't see this turning out well. So let's just get out of here. Come on, dodge. Oh, double ones. There it came. Yeah, you could do something. Stand up and. One, two, three, four. No, no, no. He, he might be able to do something here. Will he be able to tie it up? I don't know. That's a little, bit of a long shot, but if his hypno gaze works out, might be able to do it. Yeah, now this guy can hypno gaze there. This guy can go for it, hypno gaze there, and he can blitz the ball carrier. He's out of thrall, so if he fails any bloodlust. Yeah, it might be better off just to. Be better off to do the go for it and bloodlust him, er, and uh, hypnogaze him, then he can just. Where's he going? Dodge works, but the next one does not. But he's got a reroll. Nice. Oh, we're sidestepping. Sucks, dude. Mm. Yeah, if that would have bounced around here, I mean, he could have grabbed it and came back. But, uh, yeah. Takes down Aleth. That's what I would do if I were him. <laughs> hey, it gets him off the field and saves him at least. However this turns out. Alright, well, that kind of decides how this game, the most part, is going to turn out. I might be able to get another touchdown. We'll see. No rerolls. I'll probably. Who do I want to score on? Come on in, I think. Still. Or Pytho. Mm -hmm. uh, we could put him there. Hit with him. Mm. Right. Just need a push. 
is fine. It's the last turn, so we'll follow in case this pickup fails. Maybe it'll bounce to him and lost Uh, so 54 to 76, 62. I think I want to level up Pytho a little more. Cal Mornin, just because Pytho has wrestle, so he doesn't always get the score. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it doesn't really matter bringing him up or him or doing any of that. So we're going to go try to pick it up. He gets it. Scores. All right, that's it. Hornets victory 2-0. We win the tiebreaker from our last season match. I will admit, it felt felt a little dirty because his his dice were were not hot at all that game they were they were pretty bad dice he played pretty well aside from it and he didn't you know if he was salty i could only imagine he didn't he still played well and showed it on the field uh he was dedicated to winning oh man let's see i could reroll to a one but hopefully not hey we actually got some some treasury or some cash to our treasury this time we might be able to replace a player uh it's pretty good MVP. He's close to to leveling up. Uh, what do we get here? So, yeah, we held the ball most of the time. Got a couple more blocks than him, uh, but overall, armor break wise, I mean, he got more, which makes sense. He inflicted a lot of KOs and stuns, though. He couldn't quite get the injuries. Though he mostly injured himself with the bloodlust. Uh, we got some good SPP. So our armor... I don't think he had really much mighty blow. So I think we held, held well with armor. Hey, thanks, Charles. Glad you got to watch the match. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, we were good on, pretty good on injury dodges and all these other things I, i'd say we rolled pretty well i think looking at this this can't really show to all these ones and stuff i think those low rolls were just armor but we can see those how the block dice turned out they were a little bit in my favor um his he just got a lot of pushes really he was heavy on pushes now his all these ones that he rolled uh some of them were armored, but a lot of them were, were his other roles. Um, hypnotic gazes weren't too bad. He did okay on his hypno hypnogazes. I guess bloodlust for all the dice that he rolled for that, they, it wasn't that far below average. I don't know. We can look at the dice stats all we want. Overall, I think I think he got hit by some bad dice at, uh, at key moments. But overall, he played really well he, even with the bad dice he he stuck to it kept in the fight that was that was a fun match i'm glad we won glad we got to play that uh, tiebreaker validate the match uh did we get any levels i don't think we did i don't know we did who leveled up oh our new catcher yeah Let's see what he gets, see if we buy a new player. Okay, he gets an average thing, he's probably gonna take dodge. It's kind of the go-to thing to start with with them. So we take dodge. Um, what are we looking at next? As much as I would like to fire Castian and get another thrower. Well, you don't have the cash for it right now. We're 10k short, but uh, I'm thinking the cash will go to a new lineman. Just because Castian has block, and we need some line fodder. If we replace him with a lineman, we're still going to have to put good players on the line. So, probably just going to buy another lineman. Uh, however, I'd like to take a look at what next game is going to be. Because we have 11 players. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's take a look at what next game is going to be. 
see if we want a 12th player. I th actually, I think I'm playing Chaos Dwarves. Ugh. What's the schedule here? Uh, hey, look. Scurry Squad came back and got a win after we beat them last week. That's pretty cool. Or we tied. We tied. We did not beat them last week. We tied them. Yeah, Rebel Rage quit. They are a Chaos Dwarf team, and I believe they made it to either Playoffs or Challengers Cup. Oh, that's disgusting. Um, they're 17. I don't want to give them too many inducements. Right now, we're giving them inducements. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to buy as much as it would be nice to have a bench for this game uh, I think I need to save the cash in case like a, a great player dies or something um, yeah he's got some dirty players it's just, it's just all kill even oh my god even his bull centaurs is just murder everything this will be one of those games where we just dodge away as much as we can. Just get away. Maybe pick on some hobgoblins if we can, but... Ugh. This team's gross. Potentially slow, though, so we might be able to get away from them. We'll be lucky if we survive this game. It's going to be a hard one next week. Uh, but yeah, I think that covers... The Hornets for today. Um, later on tonight, we will have uh, Skullshank Redemption playing against a uh, pro elf team for their last game of clan season. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Skullshank Redemption's looking good. Um, that will be at 8 o'clock tonight, Eastern Time. Um, I don't know how the rest of the day will go between now and then. Uh, I might play some Warhammer Underworlds. May even do CCL with Gogs Gogglers. I don't know. Oh, well, competition's over, so I'm going to have to remake them. But, uh, yeah. That is it for now. Uh, yeah, make sure you come back tonight at 8 to see Skullshank Redemption play. We'll see some chaos beating up on Pro Elves. Should be a good time. Enjoy the rest of your day.